Welcome to the Light.gg patch 2.1 rundown. I'm Afpak, creator of Light.gg, here to give you the quick highlights of what's new in this patch. Building upon the power of global weapon parsing released in patch 2.0, trait combo parsing is the next step in the evolution of this powerful feature. Now in addition to tracking the popularity of individual perks on each weapon, we're also tracking the popularity of the combination of perks in columns 3 and 4 together what we're calling that weapon's trait combo. This additional insight powers a lot of new functionality in the rest of the update, but even at its base level, being able to look at a weapon and see which trait combos the community use most often is a huge new insight for blueberries and veterans alike. Putting this new data to good use, the popularity rank system has also received a significant upgrade. Beyond a new set of crispy icons, the underlying algorithm now takes the popularity of a role's trait combo into account as well when determining what rank to assign, creating a more flexible ranking system that better handles a wider variety of situations. The search the database bar in the upper right of the site has been largely unchanged since its creation, and with patch 2.1, it's receiving its first upgrade. The search bar now scans for more than just items, including triumphs, legend entries, vendors, and lore, it also auto-completes as you type while respecting your language preference from item detail pages. While simple, this upgrade is a big improvement over the old version, and it should make getting around different parts of the site a lot faster. Powered by the geniuses in the Destiny Science community, hundreds of perks, exotics, mods, stats, and more now show community research when possible. Questions like, how much extra damage do I get from each stack of multi-kill clip to what does my weapon's reload stat equate to in seconds are now entered both on item detail pages as well as tooltips. The goal here is to take these pieces of arcane knowledge gathered by brilliant minds in the community and bring them to a much wider audience. Be sure to click on the credits link and give the folks behind this great new insight some love. Speaking of tooltips, they have received an update as well. Previously, all tooltips plainly showed the raw API data for whatever you were hovering over. Even though things like stats go through tons of calculations to get translated into something close to what you see in game. Now, in places where we're able to tell which parent item you're looking at, we will display the stats as they would affect that particular item, giving you a more accurate reading of how a specific perk will affect a specific weapon. Beyond stat calculations and community research, tooltips will now also show perk tips, giving an additional way to access theorycrafter opinions and popularity metrics all over the site. Item detail pages are the core of the light.gg database, and patch 2.1 brings the largest update to their functionality since Forsaken. The stats section has been overhauled to include new insights in the form of community research stats, such as damage fall off and reload time, plus a new tool, the Perk Playground. From here, you can choose perks, masterworks, and mods to see how they affect the weapon stats in real time. As you make selections, the stat visualizer updates dynamically, as well as giving you a preview of how popular the perks you have selected would be. Beyond the stat section changes, the sidebar has a new search navigator to help you quickly dig through a database search result without having to open 200 tabs, as well as a new perk change tracking feature to better understand what has changed about a role when its perk pool is updated. The Your Role section has been updated to better break down your role's popularity as well as allow you to load your roles into the new perk playground and see how things might change with a different mod, perk, or masterwork. You can change your perks in-game from here now too. Finally, the item review system has been completely revamped, allowing for longer reviews, reputation, replies, editing, deleting, and reporting. Last but not least, the biggest update of patch 2.1, the Roll Appraiser. Since launching with Beyond Light, the Roll Appraiser has been our most popular new feature by far, used over 8 million times since its launch, becoming a critical tool for inventory management among the community. With this update, we are fully leaning into the idea of making the Roll Appraiser the most customizable and powerful weapon management tool for the community. With the new version, you can group roles by more than just their weapon type, and in fact, you can group by multiple things at once. Tapping on a roll now brings up the weapon preview pane, allowing you to peek at a roll without losing vision on the rest of your inventory. From here, you can get a breakdown of your role's popularity, as well as check out its stats using the new Stat Visualizer and Community Research stats. For weapons you own multiple of, 
there are easy hotkeys to quickly compare all of your dupes and decide which to keep or shard. The sidebar exposes a ton of functionality that's new to the role appraiser, including the ability to lock, unlock, equip, or transfer your role directly from within the app. Tapping inspect brings up an updated look at the role inspector screen, which can now update the perks you have equipped in game as well. A new hamburger menu gives you quick access to your filters with almost a dozen new or updated options, groups and sorts, which are again, fully customizable, A quick way to jump through your groups with the new Navigator panel. And a brand new Activity Stream panel that tracks important things during your session, like finding new roles and vendors selling mods you don't own yet. There's a ton more that this new tool can do, so please be sure to check out the Deep Dive tutorial video for it, which will be linked in the description below. That's more or less it. Thanks for checking out the patch 2.1 rundown. If you want to learn more about the finer features of the patch, the full patch notes, and any other deep dive tutorial videos will be linked in the description below. Thanks as always for supporting the site. Be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all the new info and features as they come out. Big thanks again to our Patreon subscribers who help make all of this possible. If you'd like to support us, a link to our Patreon is also in the description below. Thanks again for checking it out, and we'll see you next time.